Mr. Brown, come in. I just had a visit from Madame Kosleva, who runs the fair. Oh, yes. They were having a clear out and found all these old crates stuffed full with memory bilia they thought had been lost forever. Oh. She asked me if I would sell it for them while they're in town, and it struck me there might be something in here for your auntie's birthday. Oh, good idea. <gasps> ah, look at this. It's very nice, Mr. Gruber, but... I know, I know. It has to be perfect. Well, since Uncle Pastuzo died, I'm the only relative she's got left. And it isn't every day a bear turns a hundred. <laughs> Quite so. Ah! How about these rolling shoes? Please, Mr. Gruber, be serious. Perhaps your auntie's rolling days are behind her. <laughs> I think you might be right. Oh, what's this? <sighs> ah, that must be the popping book. Very interesting. Really? You see, Madame Kosleva's great-grandmother, who started the fair, was also a brilliant artist. And every time they visited a new city, she made a popping book to remember it by. Oh. And this is London. Oh, Mr. Gruber, it's wonderful. Aunt Lucy always dreamed of coming to London and never had the chance. But if she saw this, it would be like she were finally here. Aunt Lucy! Aunt Lucy! Paddington! Oh. Come with me, Aunt Lucy. Oh, yes, please. I want to see everything. Well, what do you think? It's wonderful. All aboard. One and a half bears, please. Mind your step, madam. Oh, what a polite young man. What a polite young pigeon. You've made an old bear so very happy. This is perfect. Oh. Uh-huh. We have a snag. Do we? You see, this popping book is the only one of its kind, and they want rather a lot of money for it. Oh, well, Mrs. Bird found this coin in my ear at breakfast. Perhaps there's more. Oh, it would take more than an earful, Mr. Brown. I'm afraid you would need a thousand of those coins. Oh. Let's take another look at the monkey. I think he's super duper. Oh. I can fix that. That's very kind, Mr. Gruber, but Aunt Lucy did so much for me when I was a cub, and this could be my way of saying thank you. I'm going to get a job and buy that book. Very good, very good. Now, your name is? Paddington Brown. Oh, well, of course it is. You are my new neighbour. You live with Henry and Mary and the great Mrs... Uh, now then, I suppose you know who I am. Oh, yes. You're a very famous actor. Oh, poo. <laughs> or used to be. Now you do dog food commercials. <laughs> well, a man has to eat. What? Dog food? <laughs> <laughs> oh, very, very funny. Anyway, they do say that at Madame Kozlova's, all your dreams come true. So, if you had one wish tonight, what would it be? Oh, that's easy. I'd like to get my Aunt Lucy a birthday present. Oh. I've got my eye on an old pop-up book of London, made by Madame Kozlova, as it happens. The only problem is it's rather expensive, so I need to get my paws on an awful lot of money. Well, I'm not sure that we can offer you that. But we can, of course, offer you oodles of fun. <laughs> so, <laughs> if you would like to lend me a paw, we now declare Kozlova's steam fair open! <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. Wonderful, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, there's one moment. A word in your ear. Hmm? This, uh, this pop-up book, do you know it? 
I know of it, but I was led to believe it was lost. Where on earth did you find it? Oh, at Mr. Gruber's antique shop. He's keeping it to one side for me, but I really need a job. I don't suppose you have any advice, do you? No, no, no. I imagine you just have to start at the bottom of the ladder and work your way up. <laughs> do you know what, Mr. Buchanan? Hmm? You've just given me the most brilliant idea. Have I? I'm going to be a window cleaner. One more day, Aunt Lucy. <laughs> Mr. Gruber? Hey? You are not Mr. Gruber. Clear off! No, you don't. Robbery in progress at Gruber's Antiques. Suspect is a small bear wearing a red hat and blue duffel coat. Stop! Come back! Afraid I can't do that. Cheerio. Where did he go? A nice little hole and no mistake. Turned out to be quite a stroke. I like that bear turning out when he did. Coppers think he'd done it. We're in the clear. <laughs> Indeed, Magwitch. And we gave quite a performance, you and I. Just like the old days. Why the lemon face, Hamlet? If you have something to say, I beg you, share it with us all. It is not, nor it cannot come to good. Oh, really? You and your dreary conscience. Tell me this. Which would you rather, that you stand here gathering dust while I humiliate myself in a Spaniel's costume on television, or that we all return in glory in the greatest one-man show of the West End? has ever seen. Oh, thank you, my darlings. Thank you. Thank you. Blessings upon you all. Deepest of bows. Thank you. I know what you're thinking, Scrooge. It'll cost a fortune. But if I'm right, that is exactly what this book will provide. This is no dusty antique. Hidden on every page, a little lady pointing to a clue. Find all the clues we're rich again, and our dog food days are done.
ti. And the hunt begins. Somebody's got to recognize him sooner or later. Hmm. You're right, Mr. Gruber. There's something about this whole business that has been tickling my brain box. What is it? On the night of the robbery, when young Mr. Brown called out, the thief took to his heels and ran down the stairs. Came straight through the shop and out the front door, setting off the alarm. Ah, but that's the thing. He didn't go straight through the shop. No? He came all the way over here to get the popping book. Why not some jewellery or a vase? Yeah. They're much closer, far more valuable. He can't know much about antiques. Yeah. Unless... He knows something about that book that we don't. You may find this hard to believe, Madame Kosova, but Paddington is innocent. And we think that the real thief may have broken into Mr. Gruber's just to steal your great-grandmother's pop-up book. The pop-up book? I know it sounds far-fetched. But is there anything you could tell us about that book? Anything at all could be helpful. That's quite a story. Oh, really? Come with me. I'll show you where it all happened. You see, my great-grandmother, who started this fair, was the finest showwoman of her generation. She could tame lands, breathe fires, follow swords, but she was most famous for the trapeze. They called her the Flying Swan. Wherever she went, she was showered with gifts and made a fortune. But where there is a fortune, there is also jealousy. The magician wanted it for himself. And the flying swan became the dying swan. He went to her caravan and opened her strong box. But instead of her treasure, all he found was one of her papa books. Twelve landmarks of London. They had him cornered, but he vanished. Well, Grandfather, tonight we go in search of clue number two. The setting, St. Paul's Cathedral. But how to slip in unobserved? Enter Sister Isabella. Oh, thank Larry it's there. Thank Larry, Johnny, and all the ghosts of the avenue. Yeah, but it was close, wasn't it? Aye, too close, if you ask me. Oh, hold your nerve, Macbeth. Screw your courage to the sticking place. We are so nearly there. I have followed this lady through the whole of London and collected every one of her clever little clues. Aye, but what do they mean? It's just a jumble of letters, ain't it? Au contraire, mon ami. Ah, uh ah, -uh. they are not letters at all. They are musical notes. Indeed, Poirot. And I believe I know just where to play them. Well, Grandfather. The moment of truth. D. D. A. A. The book. Ah. What's he doing? I don't know. Can this thing go any faster? I can try, but I need more coal. I'm on it. Pull alongside. I'm going across. I'll come with you. Judy. Just you try and stop us. Come on, then. C. And finally, E. Hello, aren't you pretty? 
Yes, then. Here I come. Morning. Mrs. Burke? Oh, so now you remember me. Well, I never. The cavalry. An old crone, a little girl, and an insurance man. What am I going to do? I'll tell you exactly what I'm going to do. Hmm? I'm going to bloomin' well biff you on the nose. Not a very good idea. <laughs> Stage combat. Level four. Well, where I come from, laddie. They teach you never to bring a knife to your gunfight. I think you'll find that fire's plastic darts. So it does. Whereas this sword looks very sharp. <gasps> oh. Back you go. All of you back. For you, sir, the Jamba Pavlova. Uh, uh. Enjoy. Oh, hello, Your Honor. The hair's looking lovely. Have it, sir! This is wrong! Ah. I've got an idea! Good, good, excellent. Now for your furry friend. Have a little plan. Don't worry, I know a wee trick Harry Houdini used to do. Bullseye. 